Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! So we got this place pretty cleared out over there, we got most of the other stuff pretty cleared out here, so what do we have left? Well we've got this over here for one thing, this other path here, this is pretty much it aside from the hut that's behind that giant alligator type statue house type place I guess you could say. It's hard to describe what it is, but uh, you'll you'll see what I mean when we actually go inside that thing, this uh, this part. Alright, so we got a little lily pad re ride going on here, but I think I'm gonna check up this pole here. Notice there's a one up up there. And whenever you see my lives reset, it's obviously because I uh, I saved and quit the game. Oh yeah, that's right. Gotta use this. I just remember that when I did that a poor flap flip there. I guess I'll grab that, but yeah, anytime you see the lives differ uh, between parts, it's because I stopped recording and whatnot for the day, and yeah, anyway, basically you just want to break the egg wherever there's an X, another one of the few times you use a beak barge, and the last one contains a Jiggy. Voila! Alright, going back over, I think I'll use our leafy raft this time, because why not? Yeah, just, I feel fancy using the raft. <laughs> Alright, now I think my body is ready for another transformation. <laughs> um, where was that again? It's It's got so many different paths that I just kind of get disoriented, it kind of. <laughs> so anyway, the entrance to this place is the nostril. Yes, the nostril. See this? Yeah, that's an entrance. <laughs> Um, but we're not gonna do that for a little bit. I'd like to get all the notes before I actually go in there because that place is, uh, it's a little bit on the risky side, let's put it that way. So, I'm gonna make sure I get all the notes before I go inside and get the remainder of the notes. Uh, just so that if I die, I'll end up with 100 notes and I will be a happy camper. Anyway, let's start this rigmarole here. And get the notes as you go. Don't want to miss the notes, because otherwise you're going to have to do this again. Although, you might actually have to do this again, depending on how well you do on a certain time challenge in the middle of this type area. Let's just put it that way, and it's a it's a rather annoying one. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Alright, going, going, going. Go, Kazooie, go! Get those notes! Well, and Banjo too, I guess. But he's just long for the ride. <laughs> Alright, now over here, this is the thing that I was talking about that you might fall off and you might have to redo all of what you've seen there because we need to get across there to that, yeah, on this thin thing in under 10 seconds. Get the camera sw swung around using the R button, hit that switch, hold the R button, and get ready to move, but don't go too quick. You, you do have plenty of time to pull this off, but you still gotta be at a steady pace, <laughs> let's just put it that way. If you panic at seeing 10 seconds and you get all jittery, you're probably gonna fall off and you probably won't be happy. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Continuing on our trek through this odd swampy structure. And yes, there's a mumble token behind the hut there as you see. Pretty hard to miss. Oh shoot, that's... I can't, I can't attack in this... in this state. <laughs> And now I can attack. Oh! Aha! Take that, you monstrosity. Ecombocum! 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 Yes! <laughs> um, I guess I can. I don't think I'm. Yeah, I think I'm full on the feathers, so I don't really need to do that. Now, the next empty honeycomb piece is actually in here, and it's kind of tricky to get because of the camera. Uh, you need 10 tokens for that, but I've been collecting them pretty, pretty vigilantly, so. <laughs> Okay, now, there it is, yeah, yeah, there we go, I got managed to get it on my first try, but yeah, it might, might, might take you a few tries, it's not risky to get in the slightest, but it's just a thing of that, you gotta jump for it, and you're gonna have to jump back up here if you fail it every time, and yeah, anyway, let's see what Mumble has this time. <sighs> Oh, ooh, how fitting! Little tiny crocodile! Oh no! <laughs> Are you kidding? 
Are you really kidding? Anyway, there's also something behind here. Yeah, it's another Mumbo's token that was basically hidden in his house and didn't even realize it. So I guess he doesn't clean behind his chair. Ever. <laughs> anyway, now that we are a crocodile, we can finish off this world. I hope. <laughs> so, uh, you have the power to eat. And you have the power to go in the water without any issues. That is the power of the crocodile. Uh, anyway, now, the main thing that I'm going to be doing here is just basically collecting notes and gingos and stuff like that in the water before I go into the big old crocodile because, yeah, as I said, it's, it's a place, and it's a place that will not be friendly to you. <laughs> And anyway, 80 notes, we're making good progress. I don't think I missed any notes thus far. I don't think, but who knows? Who knows? Oh, graphical glitch on the emulator, thank you. <laughs> I think I walk a little bit faster on uh, on actual land. Well, I can't actually go in here to uh, get some notes safely. You just go in one nostril and then out the other, but I'm not actually going to do this just yet. Also a mumble token, I guess, but that's not that's not the main attraction here. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to that game. Let me put it that way. Especially with not having a certain item that makes it easier. Um, but I will give it a good old try. <laughs> nah, I'll be able to do it after a couple of tries. But I absolutely, positively, want to get all the notes before I attempt it. Just in case, so I don't have to get these stinkers all over again. Uh, the same, pff, the same with the Jinjos here. This will give me the last one, by the way. Heck yeah! Woo! And the last Jiggy is, of course, inside that big crocodile. So yeah, there's a bunch of really good prizes under here. But as I said, it's possible to glitch yourself under there by doing like some sort of flappy jump up on top of those platforms. But it's, I don't really understand how to do it, so... <laughs> and it's really hard to get out if you get yourself in there via that method, so... I wouldn't play with that if I were you. <laughs> Alright, now I just gotta get those other five notes in the swampy water, and then we are out of here! But, I forgot where they are. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take a little tourism around here. I don't think they were by the beginning, I think they were more like on this side. In the swampy water, probably. Mm, no, it wasn't this. Didn't, didn't this edge have the Jinjo and just, yeah, a bunch of eggs? So this is what. This wasn't it. Ah! Five notes. Five notes. They taunt me with their spinniness. Their spinniness. By the way, there's a lot. There's quite a few prizes to actually grab in the swampy water, as you can see here. I'm surprised the piranhas didn't eat them or something like that, especially the eggs. But <laughs> maybe they they're only looking for stuff that's technically alive. <laughs> and were the notes back here? Maybe. Because uh, wasn't this the one that I said I didn't feel like coming back here to? Because it's way out of the way. Oh no, notes are here. Okay. So I get guess the other one. No wait, the other one that I said I didn't feel like coming back to was the ginger part. Yeah, okay, so once I get this last note, I can safely die all I want on this world. Woo! Heck, yeah, baby! Now, as for that mini game, oh boy. <laughs> Prepare yourself for pain! <laughs> well, unless you know what you're doing, I mean, there is methods to the madness of this game, as there is with any game, but, uh, it still sometimes takes me a bunch of tries, and every time you lose it, you take two units of health, if I recall correctly. So uh, make sure that your health is at max via your screen there, if it's not up there, and I wish you luck. <laughs> so this is Mr. Vile Crocodile's Den, I guess you could say. How's it going there? I like his voice. <laughs> So he's the greediest croc of all, and he's got a game. See those boots or those shoes up over by the golden feather over there? Yeah, that's what makes this game easier, but, uh, well, I don't have them now, and I don't get them until I believe the sixth world, so, uh, here we go! Let's accept! 
All I have to do is eat more red yumblies than him. Sound simple? Yeah, it sure sounds simple. Well, I mean, the first one is pretty easy. Just basically stay around him and try and get as many as you can. Like, if, if you see an opportunity to get more than he can at his pace, uh, go ahead and go over to a big clump of them. But otherwise, try and stick around him and try and eat the ones that he would otherwise eat. Because it's basically like a plus one for you and a minus one for him. <laughs> But, uh, as you can tell, I'm just going for the best combos here for the most part. Of uh, ah, yeah, I gotcha! <laughs> you don't stand a chance, at least in level one. <laughs> well, actually, you're doing pretty well. Uh, and it, one of the problems with this minigame that makes it so difficult is that you can't see the whole arena because of the camera. So, uh, yeah, it might... May, might take you a couple of tries to do this, and by the way, you absolutely do have to press the B button every time you want to eat one of these critters, so, uh, don't forget to press the B button as you go there in nice rhythmic fashion as you go from one to another, so that you eat them as quickly as possible. Alright, there's phase one. So, now the game gets harder. Eat reds, avoid yellow, grumblies. <laughs> the grumblies are so silly. They got these sharp teeth, and they're they're quite cute. And yes, you'll you'll see them. Uh, oh, no. oh, I missed one. Oh, there's a grumbly right there. Don't eat it. You will be sad, very very sad. Uh, well, I gotta eat. I gotta eat. I gotta get a better pacing going on here. Eat, eat, eat. Yum, yum, yum. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Go, go, go. <laughs> where'd they where'd they all go? It's like there's a complete absence of them on my. And my field of vision. It always seems like that Mr. Vile knows exactly where they are, though, so... He'll be he'll be playing pretty efficiently in every version of this game. So you gotta... Gotta kinda keep moving. <laughs> Especially in the next version of the game. You're like, what? There's a next version of the game? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And it gets even harder. <laughs> oh, this is a close one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Num, num, num. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Uh, we're at the same pace. By the way, you cannot tie. Uh, you will lose if you tie, so, uh, get ahead, get- Oh, no! Uh-oh. I better run out before I take a hit! Actually, it doesn't really matter if I take a hit, but he actually moves- well, too late. Yeah, he moves faster than I do when I am about to take a hit as punishment for losing the game. And then he goes back over here, and we could try it again. <laughs> so, yeah, this- this is... a hard one. <laughs> Alright, let's get those. I should say, this game is a hard one. Harder than the actual bosses up to this point. Although, I guess you could technically consider Mr. Vile a boss, even though I think the uh, yellow frogs, you know, the flibbits are supposedly the boss. You know, with the music and all like that, but uh, it certainly didn't feel like a boss when I wonder winged them to death. Oh, shoot. Don't miss any like you did last time, PK Gamble. I already missed one, but I mean, any critical ones. Oh, ooh, ooh. I will absolutely go for those ripe, delicious red ones of cuteness. This is the law of nature. <laughs> and I've got a pretty good leeway on him here. So I, I think I'm going to win this one. Uh, it looks like he's been having quite a bit of difficulty getting the delicious yumblies. Like, I was having difficulties getting them in the last version. I should say, the last random spawning game. And there we go. One by five that time. All right. Woo! Must we? Must we? <laughs> All right. So, watch the top of the screen. It'll change every ten seconds. And it'll start with one of the two. So, in this case, it's starting with the reds. And when it switches... Switch over to that color immediately, too, because, yeah, you're gonna be losing score if you start, uh, go- Oh, shoot! Ah, I should say losing time, excuse me, because, yeah, time is scored. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's got- got quite a bit farther ahead, and you'll notice that a lot of the colors, um, that you don't want appears when you want the opposite color. That's just how this version of the game works. <laughs> I'm gonna go along this line because I'm gonna steal a bunch of them because I know he's gonna go along that line. 
Alright, I caught up a little bit there. It's gonna change back to the reds in a couple seconds though, so I'm gonna wait here. Yep, yep, yep. Just make sure that you're ready when it changes, because... Yeah, as I said, don't eat the wrong color, otherwise you're gonna have that... gonna have that issue of being stalled out. And uh-oh. Oh, Nelly. Oh boy, this is not looking good. I'm out of here. <laughs> Sometimes you can avoid taking a hit by exiting the uh, exiting the place before he catches up with you, but uh, not usually. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and now I go back. <laughs> and now you won't want to take a bite out of me if I recall correctly. Uh, although you might, let's see. Let's just see here. Uh, yes, I would like to. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot! It resets the game? Oh, shoot! So you can't really escape damage to an extent, because... Yeah, if you leave, I guess it resets the game. Whoops! Well, I'll see you when I get back over to the hard game, I guess. <laughs> My bad. I won with flying colors, but how will I be able to fare against version 2 of the game? Let's see. Nope, oh, I failed. <laughs> That's alright. Just take a piece out of me and then we'll try again. <laughs> wow, I won with flying colors this time. <laughs> alright, let's try game 3. <sighs> This time, you're mine. But I swear, this game really feels luck-based without those shoes up there. And you'll know what those shoes are eventually when I get to that part of the game, but, uh... Yeah, see how much faster he goes in this game? It's... it's kind of crazy, really. <laughs> oh, yellows. Grumblies. Oh, shoot, where are the grumblies? There's one grum... <laughs> one grumbly on the whole arena. Jeez. Yeah, it's, it's just such a randomized game that without the extra power of those shoes, well, yeah, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to win this round, though. I'm, I'm doing decently, so I have a shot, definitely. Um, can I get a little bit of a leeway here? I think I can! Oh man! Come on, switch to the yellows right now, right now! Switch to the yellows right now! <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that would have been nice, but yeah, as I said, it changes every 10 seconds, so there wasn't really much of a chance of that happening. Uh, shoot, 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 I win! I win! <laughs> Alright, I just realized I didn't be- I can't do the victory dance. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, not, no. 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 <laughs> I'm... I'm going to slide off like a slug. <laughs> yes, your game... Little bit... Little bit too risky. <laughs> so, alright, now that I finished this world... I didn't really totally finish it, because I still gotta take this transformation out, and, you know, because I need the power of this transformation from this world, if I didn't do this now, and have that thing set up in the cave behind the Bubble Gloop Swamp entrance at Grunty's Lair, I would have to open that up, then come back through here, and get the transformation, come back through there, and yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Anyway, I made it. I am happy, and you know what I should do? You know what I should do? <laughs> I took a lot of damage from that vile crocodile. So I think I deserve a little bit of delicious honeycomb goodness. Alright. Yep, note count maxed out at 100. 100% of the world in general, as you've seen. So... Now I'm gonna go back through here at the power of a baby crocodile and go through that little hole. Remember that little hole? Remember that little hole? Yeah, we can climb up that slope as a little crocodile, climb and go into that hole, and yep. And we're gonna learn something pretty cool. Get it? Pretty cool. Crickets, really? Is that 
Is that all? Oh, and Tumbleweed too, I see, I see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you! <laughs> so obviously this isn't really a cheat, cheat, in, you know, the sense of a cheat. Which lost book or finders bear and bird are? Spell they get! <laughs> so he's disobeying Grunty! <laughs> okay, so what's the spell? Alright. Enter the code blue eggs on the sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Remember I was talking to you about Treasure Trove Cove's sandcastle? This is the start of this sort of kind of side quest type thing. And <laughs> <laughs> love Grunty. So now I'm gonna go flip flop my way back over to Treasure Troll Cove now that I got the power of that code and uh, we're gonna see just what that thing does. Oh and by the way, Mumble's magic will run out about here, so uh yeah, you don't have to go back into Bubble Gloop Swamp like before uh, in Mumbles Mountain uh, to transform back into Banjo and Kazooie. Did you just... You... What? What's this with things hitting me in cutscenes? And anyway, um... Oh, come on, just control stick. Basically, uh, when you come back over here... Yeah, you had to drain out the water again, so be prepared to use a couple eggs every time you come and do some sort of cheat code in that place. And yes, our black crabby friend is back over there as well. Like, literally, crabby friend. He is not a happy snippet in the slightest. <laughs> Alright, so let's stomp, stomp in blue eggs. And also stomp you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, well, um, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to reset the code now, um... Uh, well, let's see if an L will register here. Uh... Oh, okay, it does, okay. I thought I'd have to reset this by going outside, and by the way, this time... You don't have to hit separate letters, you can just hit the same letter twice, and whoops... E, G... G, and I gotta find an S... S for snake... S for Sam... S for salami, and we got 200 eggs after putting in the cheat code! That's not really a cheat code! <laughs> and there are other things like this in the game to find. But, 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 those are for later parts. For now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue on my exploration of Grunty's Lair and probably start the next world. Yeehaw! Black screen transition!